Hello and welcome to another video. In this lecture, we'll be going over bandwidth test on MicroTik devices. So we'll be looking at bandwidth test servers as well as bandwidth test clients. So let's quickly jump into the video and enjoy our throughput testing. All right, so let's get into bandwidth testing using MicroTik devices. First off, it goes without saying, whenever performing bandwidth tests using MicroTiks, you need to understand there are limitations. Uh, some of the limitations might be your physical hardware. So in my case, I've got a 951 MicroTik and all of these ports are 100 megabits, which means I'll never achieve more than 100 megabits of connectivity speed. I do have a 200 megabit fiber line, but because of this limitation, I'll never achieve more than 100 megabits. It also goes without saying, the server that you're connecting to also needs to have available bandwidth. So if you connect to a bandwidth test server that only has 10 megabits available and you're connecting with a 100 megabit device, then you're never gonna see more than 10 megabits on that bandwidth speed test. So some stuff to just be aware of. Um, I'd like us to just get into the bandwidth testing and you can access bandwidth test by going to tools and then you get bandwidth test and B-test server. So B-test server is actually the bandwidth test service being enabled on your MicroTik so that the remote devices can connect to it to perform bandwidth tests. By default, it is enabled and it is set for authenticate now, authenticate is very important. If you disable that, it means that any device can connect to your MicroTik without any user credentials and perform bandwidth tests. It's a bit of a risk because if malicious people understand that, they can actually connect to your MicroTik and just erase all of your speed because they can keep up those bandwidth test sessions just going and killing the throughput of your network. So definitely not something I recommend. Um, make sure your authenticate is ticked and you can leave everything else as default. If you click on sessions, this will actually allow you to see what devices is currently connected to your MicroTik performing bandwidth tests. And we can see that in a secchi when we perform some bandwidth tests um, from a client. What I want you to also see is if I go to tools and I do bandwidth test, this allows your MicroTik to connect to a bandwidth test server. So instead of being the server, it can perform a test to see if uh, what, what kind of speeds it's currently getting. So I actually want us to start with the bandwidth test first. Let's act as if we're a client. And then we're going to perform some tests by connecting to a public bandwidth test server. So I'm just going to MicroTik's uh, forum here and we can see here is a public bandwidth test server that somebody's made available just to test with. Um, but I, I do also recommend if you connect to public bandwidth test servers, do it at your own risk because that means they will potentially see what type of IP address you're connecting from. So definitely use this on your own network and at your own discretion. I'm only using this as a showcase. All right, so I'm going to test by connecting to this person's public IP. And you can specify, do you wanna connect with UDP or TCP? I'll, I'll use TCP in this example. And I can set the direction. Do you wanna see both of the streams at the same time, only receive or do you wanna send? Let's set it on both just to start with. And the other important bits is your username and password. So let's go to this person's details and this is just B test it seems. So let's make it B test and B test and let's perform a bandwidth test connection. So I can just click on start and then there's a nice little graph at the bottom that will show you exactly how much bandwidth and throughput it's getting. Oh my, uh, there's a beep happening from a traffic monitor that we set up earlier. I might just quickly disable that while we're here. So it's just, turn that off so we don't get spammed by beeps and this allows us to see the kind of throughput we're achieving over the link and at the moment i'm getting roughly 100 megabits of aggregated bandwidth so that's up and down at the same time let's just stop that and see can i just do receive and let's see how much bandwidth we get if we just do a receive test so there's my rx and 34, it's, it's climbing, 38, 36, 39. All right, but this is a great indicator to show you how much bandwidth you're actually getting through a link because maybe you've got a layer two service between your two MicroTiks. Maybe it's a wireless link, maybe fiber, and you wanna confirm what type of speed you're getting on the service. This is a great tool to test that. If you see you're not getting your speed that you've signed up for, then you can definitely take it up. Or if you see it's, if you're managing the layer two as well, then you can make some tweaks just to get that speed sorted. All right, let's stop that. So that was the MicroTik acting as a client. And let's just quickly set it as a server. It's already set as a server. 
but Microtech has made um, awesome applications in their time. This didn't this didn't used to be a thing a few years ago, but if you go to the software tab, there's actually a bandwidth test that you can download from them that enables your computer to act as a bandwidth test client and server. So your computer can run this EXE and it can perform bandwidth tests as well. So here I can connect to the Microtech using its IP, using my login credentials and typing in my username and password. So if I start that, I'd actually be able to see uh, a graph as well. And this allows my computer to act as a bandwidth test client or even a server that the Microtech can connect to. Awesome. So that is in essence, what bandwidth test is, how bandwidth test server and bandwidth test client works on Microtech. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you in the next one.